This is the sixth studio album by Motley Crue, and in my opinion, it is one of their best, if not the best Motley Crue album. Released on March 15, 1994, it was the band's only album released with singer John Karabi, and was the first album of new material released by the band since their 1989 album, Dr. Feel Good. These songs sound massive. They sound huge and from beginning to the end, there is no damn filler. Heavy, modern, and extremely ambitious. The grunge and industrial influences are there in tasteful doses, and several songs stretch past the six-minute mark. Tommy Lee gives the drum performance of his life, and guitarist Mick Mars reveals more of his blues and Zeppelin influences than ever before. Listen to this album with an open mind, this band has never sounded heavier or better. Produced by Bob Rock, and with Karabi now fronting the band, the members took advantage of the fact that he brought more to the table than Neil did, Six had never worked with another lyricist before, and Mars had never played with another guitarist. Mars noted that working with a second guitarist gave him a chance to experiment and have some fun instead of having to focus on just keeping the rhythm. Also, the band had never previously written songs through jamming. One of the first songs Karabi worked with the band on was Hammered, as well as the acoustic portion of the song that would become Misunderstood. Power to the Music, Uncle Jack, Hooligans Holiday, Misunderstood, Hammered, Smoke the Sky, Droppin' Like Flies, these songs are so damn underrated. Tommy Lee's drums are superb throughout, both in execution and sound, while Mick Mars thrives on having a second guitarist to play off of. In my opinion, this is the best Motley Crue album, maybe one of the greatest sounding hard rock albums of all time. The production is absolutely insane. Even if you hate the album and the band, you cannot deny the production on this 1994 release. Everything louder than everything else, enormous drums, a wall of huge guitars. Let me know what you think in the comments below.